Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I, today is gonna be a good day. I'm gonna be saying a lot about my journey through med school and where I went to med school and how I have been able to make the transition into I am residency. I will be giving all of this fun facts. So stay tuned to the video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. I'm trying to get my channel to 1K views and not 1K views, 1K subscribers. So please share, please subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe and ignore this. I have a viral, like I just got, I'm sorry. Path to medicine and my journey through med school, all the tips and tricks and all I did to be able to get to where I am today, thank God. Um, so my path to medicine started in 2016. I went to All Saints University, Dominica. Why did I choose this school? Um, I was like 15 then, so I really did not have like a choice. I just, I knew I was always wanted to study medicine. So I just told my dad and he found the school for me. And then I just went there. <laughs> it was that like easy for me. Like I didn't do a lot of research. So I went to the school from 2016, started, did a, a year and a half of pre-med. And throughout my year in pre-med, it was all about basic sciences. And I was able to, I got on the Dean's list then, which I'm saying that to, it's going to be useful down the line so i was able to get into dean's list then was very um i was very active in the american medical student association my local chapter dominica so i was just trying to make sure i get my hands on a lot of things so i can bring all of this to the table when it's time to apply for residency and then after a year and a half in all saints university in dominica then we did m1 to like m5 um, and that lasted up until 2019 in Dominica when then I had to leave due to the hurricane that chased us out and then came to Chicago to start my rotations and took my step one. So I actually took my step one before my first rotation, which is something I would advise people because it just is easier that way. Um, does it make you score better? I don't think so. I just think it's if you want to make sure you have all your exams within med school, it's it's faster and wiser to get it done before you start your third year rotations. And then I did all of my third year rotations in Chicago, which was connected by my school. They controlled all of that via like, um, I think I forget the name, AICG, which is an American International Clinical Group. And they scheduled all of my rotations. I did my rotations in Loyola, not Loyola, Loretto, I wish, <laughs> from Loretto to um, um, Jackson Park Hospital to Community First Medical Center and to some little clinics owned by the doctors. And then I did one rotation in Advocate Medical Center. So all of those rotations are all of the, um, are, were all done in Chicago. I only did one rotation in Washington, D.C which was in Providence Hospital, if I remember correctly. So that was my journey through med school as a international student. First of all, I'm Nigerian, and then I made a transition to Dominica, which was a totally different um, experience for me because, you know, it's a different country. It's a small town, kind of town, small country, and mm, not a lot of resources, but definitely advances your education and makes it easier for you to get into the U.S. system. So that was all I was looking for. And that was my path to medical medical school. I keep biting my tongue. That was my path to medical school and how far I have come. Uh, my parents paid out of pocket for me, so I didn't have to collect a loan. I did not take the MCAT before going into this medical school. I only used my secondary school information from Nigeria to get in there. So I know most people are always confused about that. I did not have to take my MCAT. And after all of that, I took my step two after I finished my clinical rotations, my cores. So when I finished my course, that's when I took my step two CK. So all of this provided, made me have a lot of gaps in my education, which is something that you would have to explain. I never really said I used that to study. The best way to, to talk about your gaps is either financial or you say like the hurricane is like a big thing for Caribbean students. So they, I usually would advise people to use that as an explanation for the gaps. So that was my entire trip through medical school. Would I recommend All Saints University? Um, to be honest, it depends on your budget. 
and it depends on how hard you're willing to work. Um, students are kind of, you're left on your own to really figure out yourself and figure out everything that you're going to do. You have to work thrice as hard. I think all IMGs in general have to work harder to get into residency here. But you know, it's the price we gotta pay for going to school where you don't pay as much loans as you do here in the US. So that is my path to medicine and my journey through medical school. And then when I grad, I did not graduate yet, um, but when I was 21, I applied for residency. I was finish up, finishing up my electives when I applied last year, 2021 match cycle, but I wasn't able to get in as most people know due to a lot of issues in my application. I had not graduated. I was still doing, um, I was wrapping up my surgery core. I had electives left. I was not ACFMG certified then. And my application was really poor. And um, I will share more tips on what I did differently this time that made me match into internal medicine, which is a very big specialty. Most IMGs do get in there. But usually it's like a score of like above 220 and I did not get that. So I know it's a privilege and an honor that I was saying beyond my scores and, you know, my my um, exam taking skills and seen really as a true, as so all the effort that I put in was rewarded somehow, some way. And like, I don't know how programs saw it, but they saw it and I got a ton of interviews, which I will discuss in the next video. And during my first application, I got only one interview, which was taken from me or whatever. It was just bad. Last year was really bad. So that is my path and my journey through med school. I have always wanted to do this. This is not forced. My parents never forced me. So it's like, it's a passion of mine. And that's why I'm so motivated and constantly pushing for more because I, I really don't see myself doing any other thing besides medicine. Definitely open-minded to so probably real estate, <laughs> but um, if I could go back in time, <coughs> I would definitely choose medicine and probably, <coughs> sorry, probably do it in America, not <coughs> the Caribbean islands. So that is my journey and my path to medicine. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. I don't know why I keep slurring my speech, but feel free to put it down in the comments below and I will answer those questions in probably a next video. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.